We are on storm watch tonight. Residents of Taft appear to have been hit the hardest by the sudden downpour. Tonight's streets look more like rivers, and folks are very busy mopping up. 17's Kurt Kelsey paid a visit to Taft, and he's joining us now with the very wet and dirty details. Kurt. Tammy, the National Weather Service doesn't issue a severe thunderstorm and flash flood warning for just any storm. The cell that rolled through the south end of Taft early this evening was a reminder of just how powerful Mother Nature can be and how quickly weather conditions can change. Flooding, downed trees, blowing dust, and rain. All part of a severe thunderstorm that left parts of Taft underwater Wednesday evening. It was like a hurricane passed through here. Been here for 34 years, and we've had good rains and we've had good winds, but never anything like this at all, ever. It rained so hard, some apartments at Imperial Gardens on Woodrow Street were flooded. And now cleanup is underway. The waters were coming so heavy that it started flooding all the apartments. And me and my son and all the boys here, we started pushing the water out. I think that if it went for the efforts from all, the, all of us, it would have been really rough. Those who weren't trying to stop their belongings from being washed away were enjoying the bounty of water, like the Johnsons who pulled out their kayak and went for a paddle. Water just started like pouring in while my mom was barbecuing. So we basically got our kayak, came out into here, and it was flooded, so we rode our kayak. You guys ever seen anything like this before, huh? Um, on TV, but not around here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not done. Not around here. At one point, Highway 166 between Maricopa and Old River Road was closed to traffic because of this mess of water and mud. Even though it was a wild weather night, we haven't heard any reports of injuries. Kurt Kelsey, 17 News.